So there's an interesting tension in service design. When you look at service design and services from a holistic aspect, eventually every service is delivered through an individual touch point. And those touch points are actually the, thing, the, the moments where a service happens. It can be through an app, through a phone, through a website, through a physical encounter somewhere. But somewhere, uh, somebody has an interact, a customer has an interaction at a, a, at a touch point level, individual touch point level. Now, the tension is that we as service designers aren't per se the ones who are shaping those individual touch points. We aren't the people coding the apps. We aren't the people who are doing the copywriting. We aren't the people who are making uh, a poster or an icon or something like that. So we are not shaping the individual touch points. Other crafts people are doing that. Now, it's quite interesting because design is seen as a craft. It's, uh, it's seen as, some, it's as something where you put something into the world. Now, when we don't shape the actual touch points and somebody else does, where is the craft? Who is doing, who is, what are we delivering? What are we doing? Um, and we talked previously about service design being as music, uh, service design as, um, as an orchestra, as a music band. And if we're the or orchestrator, if we're the uh, director of the band, we're super dependent on the skills, the, the knowledge, the talent of the musicians who are actually delivering and playing those instruments. It's not a bad thing, not at all, but it gives a different perspective on what we do and the craft of service design and the tension between wanting to actually put something into the world. Well, that's my thinking around one of the tensions in service design. And in this next video, we talk about service design as music, service design as a band. What does that even mean? Check that out in this next video and let's continue the conversation over there.